See, an opioid does nothing but cover up the pain. What happens when people go with back pain to the doctor? They go to the uh, family practitioner or they go to a specialist, they're probably gonna be put on some sort of pain med. There's a good chance that that pain med may be an opioid depending upon the severity of the pain. Is that really to help the patient heal himself? I don't think it is. And let's assume there's no problem with addiction. It's still just covering up the pain. It's making that patient less aware that they have a problem. The problem is chronic degenerative arthritis that's occurring inside their body, probably at their lower back or wherever it is. So if they're less aware of it and it's still degenerating, that's like having rust on the wing of an airplane and just flying anyway because you painted over it and you couldn't see it. Eventually, that's going to cause a problem. And the same thing is true with covering up a symptom. If you take a drug to stop a symptom, I'll give you an example. Anti-inflammatory. Okay, is inflammation good or bad? Inflammation is your body's attempt to heal. Well, it can cause pain if there's too much inflammation, but why is the body having too much inflammation? It's having trouble healing. So the purpose of medically integrated practice is to bring together a functional correction in a medical setting. So for example, in an integrated practice, in our integrated practices with AMI, we're not prescribing pain meds, we're not prescribing opioids, we're not prescribing antidepressants. That is the latest push now. So if you want more information, you want to hear from us, you want to reach out to us, just click this link wherever it is. It could be above or to my side or below, but click that link and that link will connect you to us and you can find out about our blueprint uh, that we teach the blueprint of our model, and you can learn all about that by clicking the link.